uh, convergence and then ulti back inwards to proc that instant stun and those passive procs. Many, many options. There's a lot of variables uh, for elements in this roster. You know, they can use the magical journeys, they can use the corner breaker from, from Echo, and then they have the Fizz with TP Smite flanking around as well. So, a lot of options. Fnatic, more of a standard composition here. Uh, more straightforward. They want the Huni to teleport in, dive into the backline with the Hecarim, uh, flank, you know, maybe with Rainover, and just have a strong bot lane combo in the Callista Morgana. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm really eager to see this match. I, I, I could can, I definitely tell. We are we are getting very excited. The crowd is very pumped. Zoom in on the Bard and the Echo to get this one underway. The first Echo game in the LCS, and Froggen will be the man behind it. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, Tab's initiating a freeze on top lane, and then Promiscu is going to check the buff. Gonna run right into he it. get caught here. Oh binding. no, that's a level one binding, and Huni's there as well. Exhaust is on, and this Bard will be taking no magical journeys as he goes down. First blood over to Reckless. He just wants to give JWoww the opportunity to go in, and if Huni goes aggressive, he wants to punish. Yeah, they do want to punish. Right now, JWoww has been able to acquire himself a decent CS lead over Huni as he throws down the troll pull. He might be too low, however, Huni will follow as Dexter secures the kill, but a one for one in the bottom. Overall, still worth for elements there. Phenomenally well, so he still got it. It's been a rough ride for Elements the last couple of weeks, and you know the way they're playing right now. This is this is already looking There's a whole journey. lot better. As Promiscu jumps right in, hits by the binding. However, Yellowstar and Reckless don't have quite enough damage to finish it, but Huni does as he dives in. Promiscu's going down, and Dexter's too late to the party. Yeah, I really wish I could see that with Vision. Fight's not over that, yo. Yeah, but here comes Huni. Double kill. of shadows. Double kill for Huni as Dexter goes low. Froggen around the side to try and find an answer kill. He will. However, that's a three for one all said and done in favor of Fnatic as Bebevin now comes around the side with a Sand Soldier. Tries to get the pick off or the pushback. Froggen's too quick. Phenomenally well, so. He still got it. It's been a rough ride for Elements the last couple of weeks, and you know the way they're playing right now. This is this is already looking There's a whole journey. lot better as Promiscu jumps right in, hits by the binding. However, Yellowstar and Reckless don't have quite enough damage to finish it, but Huni does as he dives in. Promiscu's going down, and Dexter's too late to the party. Yeah, I really wish I could see that with Vision. Fight's not over that, yo. Yeah, but you know what? Huni double kill. Lot of shadows, double kill for Huni as Dexter goes low. Froggen around the side to try and find an answer kill. He will. However, that's a three for one all said and done in favor of Fnatic as Bebevin now comes around the side with a Sand Soldier. Tries to get the pick off or the pushback. Froggen's too quick. Still looking for a flank in mid lane. Yes, he is. Febivin, wary under tower as Froggen pushes forward with the wave. The soldiers come out, and there is the convergence, but Froggen's gonna dash in the tempered fate, and they just don't have the right timing there as Febivin is gonna get chunked down. Froggen will take a pick, and the tower not gonna help too much. All right, guys, it looked bad for a little bit, but at least Froggen and the tower got immunized. Im immunizing a tower, so to say, but they can rotate pretty well because Froggen can always jump back to his ghost. Tempered Fate can always engage. They have Magical Journey. So much outplay potential on the side of Elements, but they're going in. They are going in, but Dexter says, nah, let's reset this one. As Huni comes in with a teleport, JWoww is gonna follow. Huni stunned, jump the water's on, dashes away, right back into Froggen as Febivit picks off Dexter. We've got ourselves a one for one, and Elements opt to take the retreat as Froggen's a little bit too low to get back involved in this one. Beautiful stuns by Promise Q. Huni lands with his teleport, immediately gets stunned. JWoww follows up, they take him down. Froggen's in the fight somewhere. They, they're losing a lot on the map right here. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous for them to keep up giving up plays. Huni teleport? teleport comes in for a Huni. Are they about to start this one off? They are, and it's going to be on to Tabs. Onslaught of Shadows as he burns. Exhaust was maybe a little bit of overkill there. As we're seeing right now. Yeah, Fnatic, as you say, definitely a top tier team in Europe, and they show yet again why. They're not too phased. They adapted pretty well. Speaking they'll start going in here. Here we go. Throws down the Convergence. Froggen trying to start this one off as he is going to pop the Zanya's Hourglass. It looked like or the Tempered Fate went down. Yellowstar and Huni getting knocked all over the place as JWoww trying to tank the line. Rainover is going to get a shutdown, but he will be shut down in return. All said and done, a two for two. Make it immune. Make it unable to counterattack and then dive with parallel conversion face dive combo with the ultimate from Fizz. With the stuns from Bard, condemns so much outplay potential, and Feminine, he'll be crucial. We'll have to watch the Emperor's Divide. When will it come out?
will be successful. Here comes the siege, and here comes the dive. Dexter looks, Fate's call to pull Yellow Star back, Ooh. but Rain over now is diving in. The tempered Fate slops Froggen and stops Febivin, who's getting just absolutely annihilated. But Reckless is able to pick off Promiscu, and the rest of Elements are soon to follow. Jay Wow, he knows he's got nowhere to go. A double kill for Reckless. Tabs on the run, just can't get it done. And Hootie comes up with a double. Froggen is the only one to make it out alive. Because right now, it just seems like it's Froggen and friends. I mean, Vayne obviously has a, a problem chasing into the fight. He's very, very good at disengaging maybe on Hooney here. Well, let's see if they can disengage. Hooney jumps on in. The barrel comes on out to fly him back as Tabs gets exhausted, cutting around Froggen and Promise Q. They jump on Bebevin, but Reckless is down. Promise Q trying to keep himself alive as he hops and skips and magical journeys away. Rain over Hooney and Yellowstar on the chase onto Jay Wow, who might not get away from this one. In comes Hooney. It's so far been a one for one with Tabs already falling. Jay Wow trying to get under tower. He's going to go in with the urgent strike, but Hooney is just too strong. Two for one. Advantage Fnatic. Fnatic claimed the Baron. Might be the nail in the coffin here, Pyra. To the victors go the spoils, and Fnatic are aiming to be just that. Magical Journey. Hooney follows through. Takes a little care. bit of damage for his trouble, but he's just not worried at all. So now, Baron empowered. Fnatic are looking to shove down Min and brute force their way to another win here in the LCS Summer. This tower is just getting shredded down. In comes the Tempered Fate. It lands on a Febivin as he can't do much for a moment. Jay Wow tries to jump into the back tabs, still poking away at Rainover, who just is going to be able to get out and back and reset the fight. Dexter falls down. Reckless picks him up. Unslot of Shadows and Tabs is down. Febivin going on a ramp. Page as Hooney picks up the Bard. Promise Q falling down and so is the inhibitor. And Fnatic are on a tear towards the Nexus. Fnatic bulldoze over elements right here. Nothing they can do to stop the onslaught of shadows here. So much damage coming out of Fnatic. So much damage indeed. And they take the final swipe towards the Nexus. Elements, they're down, they're out. Fnatic still undefeated in the LCS summer. Yeah, smiles all around. Pretty close game, a weird game. Hard Very to strange. If you, if you glance on it from the outside, at points in the game, you wouldn't really know that the goal difference was as big. But Fnatic.